Hey guys, it's Deidre Penrose and today I want to talk to you guys about Instagram and how you can build your business outside of Facebook and onto Instagram. So as a Beachbody coach, this is one of my social media outlets that I have used. I'm going to share my screen here. Um, it's one of the social media outlets that I have used in the past uh, year and a half Initially, it was a little bit hard for me to get used to and figure out which keys are what and, you know, how to find people, how they can find me. Um, but as I continued doing a little bit of research, it really helped me. And now that is where I find a lot of my challengers and my coaches. So Facebook, it is not as popular as it used to be. There are a lot of people getting off of Facebook and onto Instagram. As you see, there are 300 million people now on Instagram. So it is a great source of social media to help you build your business. It's a great way to find new customers, new contacts, but also new friends. Um, this is a great way to attract people like you by showing your pictures and your videos and just sharing with people what you're doing, but also for you to find people um, that you think would be interest in, interested in the coaching opportunity or even a challenger. So the sooner you start, the sooner you are going to see success. So I recommend you getting started as soon as possible so you can start growing your business and not having the excuse of saying, I don't have any people to invite and I don't know where to go to talk to people because this is a perfect opportunity for you. So to get started, you want to go download the app on Instagram and create your account. It is free, no charge. Um, so you're going to set up a profile. Um, there's going to be a spot that you can put in a picture and you want to make sure that it is you and only you because you want people to know who you are and what you look like. Um, make sure that it's a picture that will attract people to you. Um, so not a picture from far away that they can hardly see you. Um, make sure that it's you, you're lightened up and people will say, wow, she looks confident or he looks confident. He looks like he knows what he's doing. Um, I'm going to go to that person and look and see what they have. So then they're going to start looking at your pictures. But once you set up your picture, there's going to be an info um, area. So it's a description of you and you want to make sure that it's appealing to others. Do not put that you are just a beach body coach because there are so many beach body coaches. You need to set yourself apart from everybody else. So for me, I have that I'm a health and fitness coach. Um, I am an NPC figure competitor. I am a nurse. I am a mom of two boys um, and a wife. So again, make sure that you can set yourself apart. So when a nurse comes and looks at mine and they're looking for other healthy, um, motivational posts and inspirational posts, they may say, Oh, well, I'm a nurse too. And you know, you just have that thing in common that it makes you want to go to them and start following them. So, um, once you do that, there's going to be a place where you can add a link to your Instagram. So, you can put your Facebook link, you can put your blog, you can put your email. I do not recommend putting your Beachbody link. When you put just your Beachbody link, you are not giving them the opportunity to build that relationship. I recommend you giving them something that you are going to be able to contact them and have an actual conversation with them. For me, I have my beach or my Facebook link on there because I'm on Facebook a lot. I run my challenge groups on there. It's an easy way for me to convert a person I'm talking to onto my Facebook challenge groups or to my coaching page if I sign them up as a coach. <clears throat> and even if I would put my email on them, if they're wanting to do a challenge group or have um, access to the coaching opportunity, I still have to put them on Facebook if they have one. So that's where I go to first. Now, if they don't have um, Facebook, of course, I would send them to my email. All right. So branding yourself. <clears throat> it is time to find out what you want out of your Instagram. So you can have it for personal use. You can have it for business use. 
but you need to figure out what you want to do and focus on that area. So if you want it for your business, if you want to grow it for your Beachbody business or any other MLM company that you are using, um, I don't recommend putting a whole lot of pictures of your kids um, because that's not giving the people that you're trying to attract to you um, it's not giving them anything. It's not giving them knowledge or any information that's going to keep them going. Um, for you, yes, having your kids on there is very important, I'm sure, and they do mean a lot to you. I get it. But again, it's either personal or it's business. So if you look on mine, I have my Instagram because I'm building a business with it. So you will not see my kids on it unless they're working out with me or unless they're eating healthy with me. I do share a lot of that as a healthy mom trying to help others um, learn healthy habits, clean eating, um, motivated getting work, um, getting motivated to work out, being busy as a mom. I do that, but it is not just my kids on my Instagram. So just be careful when you're posting of what you're trying to post. So again, um, what type of people do you want to follow and do you want to attract? So for me, I find about three or four topics that I like to focus on and I stick to those areas because once you start building a following, those people are going to expect those certain areas because that's why they're following you. So for me, I like clean eating. I love cooking. So I post a lot of food. Um, I love just inspiring people and trying to motivate people. I do a lot of uh, motivational quotes and posts. I do a lot of me working out, um, counting down my fitness competition, <clears throat> etc. something like that. So people are going to follow me and try to look, you know, how's her competition going or, you know, what kind of new recipe does she have out this time? So people know what they're looking for. And when you're posting, make sure that you're being creative and consistent. Again, it's going to set you apart from the other people that are doing similar things and try to post two to three times a day. That way you can be consistent um, and find the times that your followers are on and post during those times. And Icona Square is the website that I'm going to be going over with you guys. And that is actually how you can find when your followers are on Instagram. So you know when you can post. Mm -hmm. Do not always post about Beachbody. You are so much more than that. Yes, I share my journey. Yes, I share my workouts. I share about Shakeology because it is our number one product. And I know it works. I know what it has done for me. So yes, I do share my journey, but it's also important to share your passion. So that helps people relate to you more. So again, you can use images, quotes, videos, etc. Whatever works for you, you don't have to do them all, but find your niche, find what works for you and what helps your followers stay following you. And another good idea is to have a call to action to help gain interest and activity. You do not have to do a call to action every single time, but when you do this and you put like or um, tag a friend, that allows other people, friends of friends, to see what they're looking at and hopefully they can then follow you as well. All right, gaining followers. So you want to go to other accounts and like posts and comments. I do not just go to an account and like one and then move on. I actually like five pictures at a time and not just any pictures. I want to like pictures that relate with me um, and that I actually truly like and benefit from. So follow the accounts that relate to you. I actually search hashtags, which I will be talking about that next, and that's how I find people that relate with me, that I feel relate with me. I will go search hashtags, and then if I like the picture, I'll click on it and then look at that person's profile. It takes me 30 seconds to look and see, actually less than that, to look and see if this person would relate to me and if it's someone I want to follow. If it's not, I'm not going to follow them. Um, but I will like five of their pictures or give or take a few. Um, and I'll make a comment on one. And then I'm not going to just make a comment and say, great pick or keep up the good work. I'm going to talk about, you know, if it's a recipe, um, ask if they 
actually have the recipe, if it's just a picture, or you know, ask if they're on Facebook, ask how long they've been into fitness, make the conversation. Um, and as you do that, that's gonna help you build a relationship. All right, so delegating. You want to make sure you are putting in the time that you need to get the reward in the end. One thing that I do is I went on to Elance and I did hire an assistant to help me with my followers. Um, it's very cheap. It's about fifteen to twenty dollars a week for five hours a week. But you want to let them know and don't be afraid to do this. Is be specific on your target market and who you're trying to attract. So I told them who I wanted: females, ages twenty three to fifty, fitness lovers, NPC competitors, figure and bikini competitors clean eating, no profanity, no nudity. Um, and also another one that I can add on there is no Beachbody coaches or other MLM companies such as Herbalife um, or It Works Wraps because people will add them and they do you no justice and you do them no justice. <clears throat> All right, hashtags. So you wanna use hashtags that are specific to your target audience. I try to stay away from the popular hashtags because they go away quickly. So if you go to your phone into the search tab, into the search bar and you type in fitness, you will see a whole bunch of pictures that come up. There's going to be like tons. Now, if you literally go back away from that for five seconds and then go back into the search tab in the search bar and put in fitness again, you will not see any of those pictures that you just saw five seconds ago. That's how quickly people were hashtagging fitness. So none of your stuff is going to be seen. So that is why you want to use hashtags that will stay fresh in the feed. So, you know, if people look five seconds later, someone else is putting it in, it's still going to be there in the feed. Um, I do not use Beachbody in my posts only because it's going to attract other coaches because that's what some coaches do. They think that putting Beachbody in the search is going to attract people who, you know, just do the workouts. And there may be some that just do, but the majority is Beachbody coaches. All right. Do not post them right in your initial post. This is huge. All right. So you can have up to 30 hashtags in any comment. So if you are doing this in your initial post and you post 30 hashtags, you can no longer put any more hashtags, nor can you delete or you, you can edit them. You would have to delete the entire post in order to do more hashtags. So my suggestion is in your initial comment after your first post, you can put up to 30 hashtags and then you can actually delete those and repost them one time. If you start to do it more than once, Instagram is starting to actually look at that and it may think that it's um, shady and they can contact you and ban you from Instagram. So um, creating a list and having them saved into your phone is a really good idea. That way you have a list established and you can just save time and when you're ready to post, you could just copy and paste it. That is what I have done. It does end up saving a lot of time in the long run. And I just want to show you guys some hashtags that I use. So you'll see fit, fit mom, fit mommy. Um, as a mom, I am looking for mothers who love fitness, um, NPC figure, um, bikini competitor, fitness motivation, moms with muscles, moms who lift, um, with food, fit food, food porn, um, healthy food is another one. And also nurse, RN, healthy nurse, yoga, flexible mom gymnast. I love doing my yoga moves. I love doing my flips and doing crazy exercises. So I'm hoping that that will attract more people like me. Um, but I want you guys to look at other topics and areas that um, relate with you. And I want you to start using those as hashtags because that's how you're going to find people that relate to you. All right, so Iconic Square. This is the website for Instagram. You can do everything on Iconic Square that you do on your phone except adding your own pictures. And I know it's a pain in the butt, but I think that they're eventually going to have that because they are, they're constantly updating things with Instagram. And since it's getting so big, um, I think it's going to have a lot more to it. It's going to become like a second Facebook. 
So you can look at your stats, um, how many people are following you, who is unfollowing you, who's liking your stuff, who's commenting on your stuff, your biggest fans, um, your most popular pictures, everything like that. So I am actually going to take you to Iconosquare. Here we go. And just show you guys what I'm talking about. So literally just type in Icona Square. You can Google it and then the website will come up. And then you will put in your password, your username and password um, for Instagram. And you're going to see this. And it is formally called Statagram. This is just the new name. They've updated it a lot. And again, we'll have more updates. But you're going to see your picture, your profile picture on this uh, top right and as you see mine is me in my figure um, figure suit competing at my first competition um, so whenever you first go on you're just gonna see the feed and this is just everyone who you're following all of their feed so I'm gonna go to statistics and you are going to see your likes received your followers how many people you're following and the comments received <clears throat> And you can actually see in the last seven days your new followers and lost followers, and which is cool because um, you can see your growth. So you can also see your scores, which I really don't do anything with this, but um, the love rate, the talk rate, the spread rate, people that are spreading the engagement around. I'm going to be honest. I need to improve the call to action. I need to improve doing the likes and tag a friend. Um, so that is something now that I'm looking at it, I'm going to start really working on. All right. So rolling month analysis. I'm just going to go through this a little bit with you. I'm not going to do everything. Um, but you're going to see, like I told you, the um, most liked pictures. You're going to see the ones that are the most liked. Um, it's pretty cool because they are me to a T. So my transformation, um, me at my fitness competition, a picture of food, health being healthy. Um, and this is for the holidays. This was from 4th of July. And then you have some motivational pictures. I love this one because it's like having a transformation, me running my challenge groups. Like that's what I do. So then you can do your comments received and the most commented picture. So me and my figure competition, me as a nurse talking about how people who didn't get the flu shot have to wear a mask while they're working, um, a video of me doing my backflip burpees, my transformation, my other transformation with one of the fitness programs, um, Pio that I was in the test group for with Beachbody. So as you see, if you can just brand yourself, you are going to get followers and they're going to be real. It's going to be quality. And that's really important that you want to go for quality rather than quantity. You can have 20,000 people following you. But if they're not the people that relate to you, it's not going to mean anything. You're just having these people following you for no reason. There's no engagement. So make sure that you actually take time to search and look at other people's profiles and actually follow them and be engaged with them and make conversations. All right, optimization. This is where you can see when these are my current habits um, when I'm doing my posts, which is really cool because it's usually um, in the morning, in the afternoon I do once, and then in the evening after seven, which is when moms are usually home with their kids after work. Um, during lunchtime, people are usually um, on their lunch break at work. So it is nice to see when you're um, actually commenting on your post and see how the interaction is. Um, the bigger circles are whenever people are actually interacting the most. So those are the times when you want to post the most. So I'm always posting around 11 o'clock. I usually post around 7 o'clock. And um, I usually post at 7 p.m. as well. All right, and then we have the tags. So you can actually see the top tags on Instagram. Those are not ones that you always want to use because remember, 
as soon as you do that, five seconds later when someone searches, that's not even going to be in their search engine whenever you, um, whenever they search that hashtag. So these are my tags that I use. Some of them are um, very popular, but for the most part, you see that um, they're not um, as popular, so they will stay in the feed longer. All right. And then let me see here, community. So I have followers who don't follow you back. And you can see that that is a pretty big number. Um, you have reciprocal relationship, which is a pretty good even number. People who I follow, follow me back. And then you have followings who don't follow you back. So that is a pretty small number there, which is a good thing because for the most part, the people that I am following do follow me back. All right. And then let me see here. Oh, this is a good one. So you have new followers and it's nice that it tells you who they are. So if you want to look and see who followed you recently, go on their profile, look at their stuff, maybe do a couple likes, do a couple comments, um, see if you guys can build that relationship and relate to each other. And then you have lost follow. You can see the lost followers, which um, I mean, some of, them, some of them don't even have a picture which is fine for me because I don't want to follow them back if they don't have a picture. And um, then you have new followings. Um, so you can, these are the ones that I actually have followed. And then you have the top five followings, which is pretty cool because you can go and look at their stuff and comment as well. And then you have others that you may want to follow. So what they actually do is people who would relate to you. Instagram actually finds people that post the same type of stuff. And you can actually go look at their profile. And if it looks interesting that, you know, their content is good and maybe it's someone you want to have a conversation with, then you can follow them. So that is really nice that Instagram has given us that. All right. So... Um, actually I wanted to go to manage. I think this is the last thing, um, that I wanted to say. These are your posts that you can do. So you can actually see who is liking them. You can see the comments and make comments back, um, which is pretty cool. And then the last thing is at the very top, this is where you search for users or hashtags. So this is where I will type in, you know, NPC figure. And once I search it, you're going to see everything that comes up. So I can look at their profile, see if it's someone who would be interested in maybe the coaching opportunity with me. Um, and then I can make the conversation. And then you can also see all the tags or hashtags and how many um, posts are actually on them. So NPC figure, there's actually a lot. I also do NPC figure competitor. If I would hashtag that, it's going to stay in the feed longer, but people are going to see it because there's a lot of feed there. So I hope this helped you guys. And maybe if you are looking for a new social media, try to start using it and see how it works for you. You may realize that Facebook is now going away and they have a lot more rules and Instagram is coming out. It's huge. It's new. Um, great opportunity for you to grow a business and find others that are like you. All right, guys, hope you have a great day. And if you have any questions, you can message me on Facebook or email me at DeidraPenrose.com or find me on my blog at DeidraPenrose.com. Talk to you later. Bye.